So we have three objective that we already set in our data set eh, or in our research. So first, open your Word document. So we are going to design um, an, an example of your study, okay? So your study are looking into the level of awareness and the associated factors um, for the lung cancer, eh? for the lung cancer. So either you want to do uh, among the patients or you want to do among the uh, health professional. Eh? So this is the example of the title. Um, uh, knowledge, sorry, awareness. Eh? Uh, levels of awareness. Ke awareness level? Lah. Level of awareness. Level of awareness um, among... Uh, okay, level of awareness and the uh, associated factors. Factors between, uh, sorry, associated factors. Uh, uh, level of awareness and the associated factors. Level of awareness and the associated factors. Apa? Uh, yeah, contoh lah. Uh, in H, uh, H uh, in hospital lah senang. Hmm, in Kelang Valley, for example lah. Uh, eh. Contoh lah, ni, ni, ni main, main thumb je ni. Okay, so you got um, objective here. So what is our objective of the study? So we got objectives here. So objective, the first one, uh, to study the demographic of respondent. Okay, the second one, to study and compare the level of awareness uh, among different uh, different uh, group of respondent. Respondents. Okay, the next one is to study uh, the relationship or association uh, between the demographic factors, uh, demographic factors, and the level of awareness. Okay, this is our objective, and then we are going to proceed with our hypothesis. So, our hypothesis as follows. So the next one we are going to change this one into automatic uh, correction method. Okay, the hypothesis are as follows. So the first one we are going to test the hypothesis for this one. Um, there is significant uh, different. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, there is significant different uh, of the level of knowledge. Uh, between uh, different demographic factors. Okay, the next one, there is uh, significant uh, association uh, or correlation uh, between demographic factors and the level of knowledge. Eh? Okay, paham tak paham? Hmm, tak paham kau bawa paham, paham je lah eh. So this one is a demographic factors of the respondent. This one is between. This one is respondent. This one, if you want, you need to download. Eh, I will not share here. I just share it inside my website. Uh, the example of the study lah. Eh. So we have the data already. So now we are going to Kelang, Kuang, Kiang, Lantahang lah. Okay. So I'm going to save this one inside your uh, specific folder. So where is your folder, eh? ladies and gentlemen? I think this is your folder. Example of study setup. So this is your um, study example. I mean the, the flow of your study. Pardon? And later on I will share. Uh, if you can follow, you follow first, and then I will share to you lah how to make this one. Eh? Uh, you want to take picture, so you can take picture. No problem, oh, eh? This is just an example of the study. We want to know about the level of awareness and the associated factor in the hospital in Klang Valley. That means we are sampling more than thousands of people, you know. Uh, example lah, kono -kono, kan? That is our uh, plan. Unfortunately, you are able only to collect 100. <laughs> okay. This is a typical lah. Eh? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next one, we got the data already. This is our data. So the first step that we need to do is actually we analyze the descriptive of the data. So to analyze the descriptive of the data, as I mentioned to you before, we need to focus on the on the data, on the data. Eh? So this is the example of the data. Apa the point? Ini ni, this one, this one, this one. There is significant association or correlation between demographic factors and the level of knowledge. There is a significant difference of the level of knowledge between different demographic factors. Okay, so this is the example of our 
uh, objective and hypothesis. So we are only focusing on our second and third objective to be hypothesized. And this one can be hypothesis lah because it is a researchable and hypo uh, hypothetical element is there. Hypothetical element means that we can do the hypo hypothesis testing lah. We got the assumption and then we can test our assumption. So far so good, eh? ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we move on into our data analysis. So the first one, as I mentioned to you before this, we are going to run the statistical analysis using the descriptive statistic first. So the first one, you settle everything related to your data yang frequency and uh, percentage, which is we call it as a nominal data. So in this case, I'm going to paste it lah because I want to develop an algorithm so that in the future you can uh, look and see it for yourself, okay? So the algorithm is very powerful tool so that you can uh, save it and then you can share with your colleague or you can even uh, reanalyze it again. Even you remove your output, you know. Okay, I'll give you an example. Here, this one is a syntax, lah. syntax file. Syntax file for ADOC. So what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about is actually you can highlight this one and then you can click the green button here and automatically it will come out and export it like this lah to you okay understand or not okay so no need to just keep it your output some some of you maybe um keep this output for me I, i'm not keeping the output i'm just keeping the the idea what kind of analysis that already been done here okay the next one uh, is actually you want to analyze the descriptive statistics of your data which is we call it as a numeric data so i'm going to run the statistical analysis for this one and then I'm going to paste button. Oh, unfortunately, I forgot to tell you that the first one you need to do is actually the manipulation, eh? manipulations of data. So manipulation of data involving the calculations of this value. We call it as this one, lah. Uh, B total and C total. So how you calculate the B total and C total, you must uh, firstly declare and put inside your syntax. Otherwise, people don't get. Actually, B total and C total is not here in the first place, correct? So we just use some algorithm or some uh, equation to make this one happen. So how to do that? Uh, how we doing that is actually using the transform and compute. So we are. I'm not going to explain this one again and again. It's just uh, simply showing you that we need to do that one first in our syntax file. Okay. Let's say our data is already completed, and now we have this syntax file. We need to our data for refer uh, previous video. Okay. So if you saw my syntax, you must refer back lah how we compute that one. How we compute the B total, how we compute the C total. If you cannot remember, please make revision. That one is very important because in during your exam, that one is the primary element that you need to calculate first. Okay. The next one we are going to analyze for the um, data in terms of the MCT. MCT means that measurement of central tendency for all the numeric data. So this is our numeric data here. So I'm going to choose the statistic for the MCT. I'm going to choose for the distribution. Then I'm going to choose the minimum, maximum, standard deviation and also quartile. I'm going to click continue and paste. So everything is already inside our uh, syntax. So the next one, I'm going to give my myself a hint, you know. This is a normality assessment. So for the normality assessment, I'm going to focus on the uh, explorations of the data related to the numeric data. Never mind, if you cannot follow also, it's okay because after this, you are going to do that. You, uh, you're going to have this uh, syntax and then you can just run it uh, straight away. Okay, finish already this one for the normality test. And then the next one, we are going to make a comparison. We are going to make a comparison based on our demographic data, correct? So we are going to make comparison, the first one, uh, with our gender. So the gender being coded 1 and 2. Sorry about this thing, 1 and 2. And then click continue and paste. So everything is here already. So it's being coded like this. So I'm going to copy this one because I'm so lazy. So I'm going to change this one into the education. Education, right? What, what else here? Young uh, two groups. Which one is two groups? Education and institute. Education, education. So this one also one and two. The next one will be what? The next one will be the um, institute, correct? Okay. Institute. The institute, yeah, then. I N S T I T. You must make sure that it is wrong. Instead, okay. The next one is actually you want to see the spouse. S P O U S E. So you just can copy this one and paste it accordingly. So the spouse also is one and two or not? One and two or not? So you must check back lah. Uh, using the shark doodoo is one and zero. 
So it's 1 and 0. So you must change here into 1 and 0. So this one is pounds. Okay, finish. So now this is the first one that we want to do. is actually testing the differences between the variables. I mean the demographic factors. So we want to know which one that is significantly different or not. So after testing for differences. Differences. If differ, if differ, then proceed to number 3. That means if any significant difference, that particular um, factors are going to move on into the next step, which is the correlation or association test. Okay, after you finish about this thing, then probably you want to analyze the same thing, uh, but you are going to compare for more than two groups, which is this one also, right? Oh, I forgot another one actually. Uh, this one is including the CGPA and salary. So I forgot another two one, which is what? B total and C total. C total. Because this is our DB. Correct or not correct? Huh? Understand or not? Huh? Don't understand? Huh? Never mind. Huh? You don't understand. You, you just look first. And then testing for differences in each item. And then we test the differences. Test difference. Test differences. Uh, tak apalah. I put here lah. Uh, C total. Sorry. B total first. Botol pula. B total. And then C total. Okay. And then you highlight this one. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And then this one is copy and paste. The next one also is the same thing. Testing, testing for differences for ANOVA. Lah. So when say ANOVA is more than three groups. Eh? You can just click here, compare one way ANOVA. You put anything inside here. And then don't forget about your DV. So this is your DV. I usually put my DV up here. Lah. And then you test the factor accordingly. Lah. So your factor will be races only, right? Other than that, you have another uh, more than three groups. Yes, we have another one, which is what? If you can remember. Salary, right? Salary.cat, kan? Uh, Salary.cat. So, this one is salary.cat. Salary.cat. Okay, the next one is correlation. Correlation. Okay, correlation also is the same thing. You can just highlight this one and then proceed accordingly. Um, correlate. Bivariate. And then put every aspect inside here. And then don't forget to put your your DB up here. I'm assuming that all the data is normal eh? Normally tabulated eh? I'm assuming. So in the real situation, you need to, to run one by one lah to identify first whether your data is normal or not normal. And then the next one is chi-square. So the chi-square needed, uh, need me to transfer first, transform from the B total here into the, sorry, from the B total here to become a B total dot cat. Untuk tukar dia kepada bentuk categorical kan? And therefore, I'm going to see the association. So, association test. Association test as follows. Uh, analyze. Descriptive. Excuse me. <coughs> so, I'm going to put the DV here. So, the DV is uh, btotal.cat. And then this is my factors. So, I'm going to just put my factors here. Okay. So, I'm going to request for the chi-square. I'm going to run it uh, simultaneously. So, it will make my life easier. Okay, finish. So now you are finishing your data analysis and entering. So to analyze all the data or to complete your research is actually you just push the control A button and hit the run button lah and everything is run for you and then a few seconds finish already lah all your data analysis. Okay. So now you want to test it or you don't want to test it? You want? You don't want? You want? Oh, you want? Okay, I will share you the syntax files and then you are going to run that analysis and then we are going to export all this into the excel so after you finishing doing this this thing so you can export all of this output into the excel file so how to do that i'm going to continue after this okay